you know, fall fishing is one of the best times you're going to come out and catch the bigger fish, and they're all fresh. They finish the spawn. And today, we're at Stump Lake with Brian Chen. What are we expecting today, Brian? Cold day. <laughs> Cold day. <laughs> you can see our breath, probably about minus two right now, but expecting to warm. Yeah, no, it's cooling water temperatures. They're down to, to the low 50s now, finally, on Stump. And, uh, I mean, there's a lot of nice fish in the lake, and uh, that's that cold water that's going to get them going. Yeah, the thing I love about Stump, there are big fish. So today is Stump Lake in the fall as we take you sport fishing on the fly. As we've seen in the past, usually we're, we're always looking for fish, aren't we? Yeah, especially in the fall because there's no bug hatches. Right. And on a big lake like this lake, you gotta look, you gotta see something roll. And you may see one roll, but there could be a whole bunch of buddies down there. Yeah, so we could be moving quite a bit today. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> we're gonna be pulling anchor. Which is fine. I mean, that's, again, we see that on every show. You gotta find the fish. Yeah. If, you're, if you're not fishing the fish, well, you're not gonna catch them. That's right. It's pretty simple. That's right. <laughs> that was kind of funny, eh, Brian? <laughs> so Brian casts out, his indicator hits, leaves it about two seconds, the fish boils for his indicator. Tried to eat the indicator. So then I cast over, as soon as my fly hit, this guy came over and, and ate my leech. So I think we got to move up in the water, right? Here's yeah. I'll just yeah. unbutton this guy. Move up a little higher. So what are you thinking, like three, four feet? No, even six feet down. Six feet down, okay. Oh, oh I'm down. Oh, you're down, Brian. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> you got him? Yes. Oh. And this is just a nice little guy I'll hold up for everybody. Again, not, not real big, just a nice size. Well, how's that one look? Oh yeah, this is a little big deer. There, I let him go. So <laughs> we moved we moved halfway across the lake because we saw that fish yeah. boil here. So all we've been doing is looking for fish. So we saw a few out here, we went and fished that area, we saw one boil, then we saw three in a row in this area, so we moved in here. And right away, we just started banging them. Wow, unreal. Yeah, we'll This see. looks nice, Bri. Yeah, it's, this is a good, bigger. This is a good one. Oh, oh, oh I thought I lost it. Oh, this went through weed. <laughs> Boy, good scrap, eh, Bri? Oh, yeah, no, they're strong. They, when you get the bigger ones, they go. It looks like good size. No, he doesn't want to come around the boat. Yeah, that's why I love stump, you know, they get big fish in here and oh, so good. And crystal clear water. Yeah, yeah just I know, it's, it's in great shape. It's recovering, the lake is recovering from some pretty high pH. Water levels are coming up, the fish are happier, pH is going down. Which is good. Which is good, really yeah. Good. So why good. is that, just more rain, yeah, more yeah, water? Yeah, more okay. water table's higher now, a little yeah. bit higher. Oh, the boy. groundwater table, yeah. What a scrap. Yeah, no, they're... This looks like a real nice fish. Wow. Oh, that's a nice stump like fish. Oh, yeah. That is a beautiful fish. It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. I'll yeah. let you hold him up. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah. yeah, and he didn't hesitate. He ate it. He ate it. No. Yeah, he wanted that. That is a beautiful fish. Oh, yeah. Look at that. that. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Oh, big zag guy. Oh, it's three and a half. Gorgeous. Yeah. That's a nice start. Look at yeah. That. yeah, nice. I'll let him go. Yeah, you bet. Beautiful. Oh, there he goes. 
Double. Yeah. We got two fish, two cast on. I know, right? Really good. good. Bang, bang. <laughs> and now what we're going to do is actually get a little higher in the water column, right? Yeah. We're going to try to fish about three, five feet down. Well, I pulled up as soon as you hit your fish. I pulled up to five feet. And he hit right And I away. flipped it right out there while you were playing yours. And again, we're in 14, 15 feet 15 of water. 15 feet of water. And sometimes the fish are oh. cruising high, right? They're and they can see down. because you're seeing the water's so clear. The water's clear. So we've got sun out. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. Let's get him back <laughs> out again. Beautiful start. They had to eat it. He ate it. We moved again. We moved. Ooh, gee. That's a nice one. We moved again. Gotta keep moving. Put yeah. in a little shallow water. Yeah. Ooh. Boy, what's he doing? I don't know, he's coming in. <laughs> oh no, he's now he's seeing the boat. No, he's oh, look at that. Oh, he's Ooh, That's a king. That's a big fish. Boy, I know. Look at him. He's coming in. I can get him, Brian. <laughs> oh man. That's a nice fish, Brian. It's huge. It's huge. <laughs> look at that. <coughs> wow, let's uh Try to get. Oh, gee. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you break it? Nope, nope. Okay, there's it right on the very tip. Yeah. Oh, gee. There. There's a fly, of course. My little Roche Lake special. Yep. That's my favorite. Little you know, green great little beaches. Great little pattern. But look at the size of this thing. All right, look at oh, that broad. That's I just uh, gotta hold that up. How's that's close. I don't know. Four and three quarters, oh, anyways. That's nice, yeah. That's a beautiful fish. How long is that? Thing? I don't know. I'm gonna do it while you hold me. I'm gonna do Here. a quick pump, okay, just to see what's in them. Yeah, just a gorgeous fish. Gorgeous fish. There you go. Much. I'll let it go. Look, look at that. Isn't that nice? What a big beautiful tail. Fish. Beautiful fish. Boy, look how wide they are. Oh, I know. Yeah, like very thick. Way to go. Oh, gorgeous. And that's triploid in there. Uh, probably, oh, yeah. Go. Oh, now he's gone. Yeah. That was a nice uh, fish. Wide. Beautiful wide. fish. Yeah, probably close to five pounds, oh. I think. Four and a half, five. And, but, you know, he came in fairly easy because <laughs> he had wrapped himself. Well, like he was hooked in the beak and then it caught on his uh, maxillary right. on the other side and it, he couldn't open his mouth. So he was <laughs> kind of trying, but he couldn't move. I brought him in and then, of course, when we let him go, he just bolted. <laughs> he's gone. Very nice. Oh, yeah. And Beautiful that little, uh, you know, we've had them on the uh, Roche Lake special now, which is kind of a green leech. Brian's got the, your ruby eye maroon. Yeah, leech. got maroon on. But we had to move again. Yeah, just move around and you plop it out there and they see it from a long ways as the water's so clear. They, yeah. they see the disturbance of the indicator hitting the water and then they come over and have a look. And it's just starting to crank up. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning now. Yeah. Sun's coming out. We, we could have a smoking day. Oh, I hope. Well, let's get them up it's there good. again. Yeah. Stump's going. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Here, Bri. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's unbuttoned. He fell off. Oh. <laughs> so we moved again. We just actually slid even closer and we're in about, what, 10, ten nine feet, feet of water? Nine feet 10. of water. It seems like in this real clear water, you chuck it out there, it hits the water and falls. They see it from a long yeah. ways away and they come over and have a look and either eat your indicator or eat the fly. Right. Yeah, because we've had a couple <laughs> boil water indicators. Oh, yeah. Which is bizarre. Yeah. But, oh. That was, no, I'm going to get it out there again. And, you know, if we have to keep moving, yeah. then uh, we'll just keep moving. <laughs> what do you think, Brett? Going for a drive. Yeah. You know, we caught a few in here. We had some pretty good action this morning. Yeah. It's about noon and we expect right. them to crank up. So we don't want to it's, miss a bite, right? Yeah. And it's just that dead here. It's just flattened off. So, so we, we got to go look around. What, a middle of the lake or yeah. somewhere? Go mid lake and okay. see if we can find something going. Excellent. Now at least it's warmer anyway. Sure it is. <laughs> That's the most bizarre thing in the world. <laughs> it is, we're in about 54 feet. So we went from the south end and we're moving up towards the north end. And we see, you know, all these fish rising in 54 feet of water. Yeah. And they're taking adult chronomids. Yeah. But you thought, hey, they gotta be taking pupa too. If they're oh, taking yeah. adults, they're taking pupa. 
It's only took a couple of casts. Brian fired on a crow on it. Two and a half feet under. <laughs> Two and a half feet under. 55. We can't anchor. We've got no anchor rope. It's crazy. 55 feet of water. And we're casting, we're keeping it like two feet off the bottom, or off the top. And this guy hit. You know, we got right in the line where these fish were feeding. And what is that? Is that a kokanee or a rainbow? I'm not sure yet. It might be. Boy, oh boy, it was sure skying. It was oh. going crazy. Yeah. Sure in good shape, whatever it is. This is crazy. It's a beautiful fish. Well conditioned. So what did you put on, a chromie? Yeah, I got a 14 uh, 14 chromie, chromie on. Yeah, and he just fires out the second cast and bam. Well, Trevor, a friend of mine, he yeah. found him. He's been trying, been sitting on these guys for a while. For a while. He said they've been out. rising out here for two hours and 15 Trying to figure feet out what water. they're doing. So. Well, that's a healthy fish. Wow, that's nice. Oh, well, it's a rainbow. It's a nice bow. It's a beautiful rainbow. Oh, there he is. Right in the top lip, chunk. as always. And I imagine you're going to do a throw sample, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I know. I think we better on this okay. one. Okay, on this guy. See. No, we got a throat sample. Oh, that what are they doing out here in 55 feet? 55 it's feet of water, I know. Supposed to be. <laughs> well, I guess you go where the hatches are and you don't expect to hatch this time of year, especially at Kalonimans. That's just uh, crazy. No, it's almost November. Yeah, it's craziness. Well, right, put stuff in there. I didn't see any. Well, you hold them up. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Look at how chrome that is. Beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah. Chrome bullet. And he fought great, too. Oh, yeah. It's a good fight. And there's some fish three, four times that size out here rising. There he goes. Oh, yeah. What yeah. has he got? What does he have in him? Does he have chronomies, adults, or? Yep, one. One. But that's a pupa. Yeah, two pupa. Two pupa. And they're darker. What are they? Yeah, they're, um... oh, they're chromies. One adult. Oh, they are. Okay. One adult. And, and one pupa. And one pupa. Because that's what they're doing out there, eating the adults. I know. This what? is crazy. Well, you know, we got to try this for a bit, I think. And we, we can't anchor because it's too deep, so we're, we're just kind of drifting. We're just drifting with the wind. Well, and there's no wind. It's well, perfect. there's no wind. Yeah, well, we'll just drift around. If we can see them rise, we'll keep trying that. <laughs> <laughs> who, would, who would have thought? This is just insane. Don and I have had great success with the Roche Lake Special Leech. I'm going to tie a balanced version of it now. We use a size 10 jig hook to tie on, some 8 aught olive green thread to tie with, a 764 tungsten gold bead on a sewing pin for the bead, some white Firestar dubbing for the tail, some UV2 olive ice dubbing for the body, and some synthetic peacock dubbing for the head. So we'll begin with laying a base of our 8 aught tying thread in the front third of the uh, jig hook. And then I'll take our pin with our bead and it's gonna be sticking out just far enough. You have to experiment with the weight of the bead you're using and the size of the bead you're using. Make sure your, your fly's gonna be balanced level in the water when it's fishing. And I know from tying them, it's about that distance. So I'm just securing the pin onto the hook. And so what you might want to do if you're going to tie a lot of these flies, which you probably should because they do work, is build a bunch of bodies just like this and then uh, super glue them so everything, and let them dry and so everything's um, well cemented in and uh, not going to slip. So we're going to bring our tying thread back to the bend of the hook. We're going to take our white flash tail that we're going to tie in. So tail's tied in now. Then we built a uh, wire dubbing brush up with our body material now. So I'm just gonna tie this in at the bend of the hook as well. And then I'll bring my tying thread back up to the eye of the hook. Just take your hackle pliers and just make sure she hasn't unwound on us a bit. And now we're just gonna Wind it forward. Now we're covering the pin. And we're just going to take it up to the pin and tie it off because we now leave a bit of room for the uh, 
synthetic peacock curl head. Then we take our synthetic peacock and I'm just gonna spin a little bit on the thread. And then once that's on there, we'll take our, take a dubbing brush to comb everything out and it'll blend in. So we'll just finish it off and then just take a little wire dubbing brush and comb everything out. So everything blends in together. And there's your balance Roche Lake special. Once it gets in the water, it's gonna pulse and breathe a lot more naturally when it's hanging upside down under that indicator. All right, the indicator's out there, there you go. So you were telling me earlier, certain strain of fish here and stuff that can survive the high alkalinity. Well, the, the society is working with the, the Provincial Fisheries Board, son of Kamloops to develop a pH, a high pH resistant strain of rainbows for the lake. So uh, we went into the uh, creek this spring, the inlet to Stump Lake, and took a couple hundred thousand eggs from adults that obviously had survived in the lake under elevated pH levels. So theoretically, the progeny should oh. be more resistant to a high pH. And so those, those fish will be raised for a year in the hatchery and they're released directly back into stump. Oh, that's so good. it's wow. all in an effort to try to improve yeah, the fishery. Yeah, how high a pH? Like how high The pH high? in stump three and four years ago was as high as 9.2, which is oh, uh, very, it's almost toxic to uh, rainbows. And uh, we are still stocking um, kokanee in the lake oh, okay. and they were starting to be affected as well. Oh, so wow. with the lowering pH levels uh, coinciding with rising water levels, and a strain of fish that are more pH resistant. I think the fishery's Should be a good it's fishery. got a good future. Excellent. Well, that's nice to hear. Okay, Brian, I just want one more fish, though. And a big one. And a big one. That's what we always wait for, the big that's kahuna. Right. Get him done. Oh, I got him, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at him go. Oh, <laughs> she's going to go, Don. <laughs> That's a nice one on the Roast Lake Special. <laughs> it's a winner. It's being a hot fish or a hot fly. That's a chunky fish, another chunky guy. Oh no. Oh, I think, oh no, I'm I still lost. there. It's still there. Whoa, she's <laughs> coming back at me at 100 <laughs> miles an hour. Those are hot fish. Holy cow. These are some of the toughest fish. Yeah, no, they're good. Without a doubt. You know what I compare them to? Believe it or not, the Columbia River Rainbows. Really? No kidding. Oh, they are. Because they fight the same way. They just go screaming runs and my bobber didn't pop. There he is there. <laughs> Look at how fat that guy is. He's a pig. Is he ever? Holy cow. What a slap. Oh, gee. Look at him. <laughs> there. You barely had him hooked. Barely though. had him hooked. <laughs> barely. I just can't believe how fat this guy is, oh, Fry. Wide. Things wow. Huge girth. Yeah, I'll let you. Here, I'll turn him this way and I'll let you hold him up. Look at, that Look at how fat that fish is. <laughs> he's not that long. No. But he's, you know, he's uh, you're real fat. Oh, he's just really What a wide. porker. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let Isn't him. that gorgeous? Way to go, Don. <laughs> what a porker, man. So how oh, that that guy weighed some pounds because he was so fat. Oh yeah, well, it was, I'll bet you that fish was over five. I know, I it's can't believe because he was so fat. Wide and deep. Was he ever? He's like that deep. <laughs> Not pretty what long. an oinker. Fantastic. That's only we've only been here about five minutes too. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they're in there. It's great. This is just awesome on coronamids. Coronamids. It's in October, Brian. This is just crazy. This is a, by far the latest I've ever fished them. Oh, he's fighting good. He's nice and thick, this fish. Oh, yeah, another dandy. Oh. Perfect, Don. Yeah, they're just great fighting. And we got them feeding all through here. We're going to do Look at how fat that guy is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got him. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Where are you going? Oh, man. <laughs> I went down. 
I just can't believe it. Chronomids in end of October, like this is insane. <laughs> right on the top, top lip, and there's my little pattern there. The little gunslinger is beat it up. It's getting real beat up, mind you. But look at this little chunk. Man. Get him. Oh yeah, he's just, look at that. Look at, look at that. <laughs> look at this guy. <laughs> he's just a little chunky guy. Nice fish. Good though. shape. Beautiful. Let him go there. There he goes. <laughs> Not insane. Oh. Like, well, I would have never expected that today. We started no. south in the lake. We got some real nice fish down there. A little yeah. quiet. Yeah. Start sliding down the lake. We're heading way <laughs> down to the north end and 55, 55 feet. feet. So you pick catch one off. Fish. I snap one off, catch one in there. And we still got a few more to catch in here. Oh, yeah. They're still moving in there. Yeah, we missed a couple. Well, you know, what a great day. Oh, you know, stump it. It's a big piece of water. It's got some great fish. Some days it's not very generous. Other days. <laughs> well, normally you get the big winds. We've been out here yep. and we've had 40, 50 kilometers. Oh, yeah, we're out of here. Two hours run. later. Yeah, but what a great day today. So, hey, thanks again as always. You <laughs> know, we always day. have a blast. Of course, the bulldog, you know, he's he's fighting over in the other boat. He's, we punished him. He's our, <laughs> he's our underwater guy, but he's doing pretty good. Well, anyways, when you come out here, take care, conserve our waters. We'll see you next time when we take you sport fishing on the fly. And yeah, there's more fish. Oh, yeah. You know what? They're in here. We're gonna Let's get, get some more. One. You betcha. <laughs> To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.